Hi, I'm Dr. Haley North and my work focuses on discovering the neurobiological underpinning of mental health, particularly focusing on diseases like schizophrenia, bipolar disorder, and comparing those uh, brain tissues to healthy controls. So I'm Louise Labrenzik and I work in the Aboriginal Health and Ageing program here at Neura. My research focuses on ageing and dementia in Aboriginal communities, particularly in terms of how people grow old well. As a non-Indigenous researcher, I'm really honoured to be able to work in this space alongside Aboriginal communities and colleagues. My name is Bianca Albanese and my research is centred around reducing the burden of injury to people on our roads. Ideally, the impact you want to have is to reach the people who are suffering. So with insights, understanding how the brain is working and might be working in a different way, those could be able to inform new treatments and that would be the best impact that we could hope for. My intention with this work is that we can make a difference somehow for Aboriginal communities. We can better understand ageing and dementia in those communities and also really hope to contribute in some way to reducing the immense social and health inequities that Aboriginal people face in this country. My recent research has been centred around reducing the impact of uh, death and serious injury to people on our roads. And so there's a global strategy called Vision Zero that is looking to have zero deaths and serious injuries to people on our roads. I hope my research can contribute in such a way that no person's age, race, socioeconomic profile or gender um, influences how safe they are on our roads. Well, there are a lot of inspiring female scientists and one that comes to mind is Jane Goodall because not only did she pioneer the field, but she also uses her voice to advocate for animal welfare and advocate for a cause she really cares about. Day to day, I do get a lot of inspiration from my supervisor, Dr. Kylie Radford, um, and also other female mentors who I've had along the way too. Not only have they overcome a lot of barriers to get to a senior position, but they are so generous with their time and with their mentorship. And I know that I wouldn't be where I am today without their influence. A female researcher that inspires me is Professor Julie Brown. So Julie was my primary supervisor for my PhD and I'm grateful to be working alongside her still today. Julie is extremely determined, she's authentic and she's really innovative. But what I feel is the most inspirational thing about her is her caring nature and nurturing spirit. The advice I would give is that if I can do it, anyone can. Honestly, when I was in high school, I didn't even do any science subjects. At university, I really found my passion for science and understanding how the brain worked. And I was up against a lot more not having a background in science from high school, but I was able to just learn. And when you have a passion for something, nothing's impossible. If you're passionate about STEM or a particular area of science or research, then absolutely follow your dreams. It's not always easy and don't take rejection as a final answer and just use that to push you forward and improve upon things and you'll do really well. The greatest advice I can give is to be confident in your own opinions. So everyone has their own story, how they've come to be where they are and they've got different experiences, but never think that your opinion is of any less value than anyone else's. Because in science, I think diversity in opinion is really what helps it progress.